Hey, yo, it's Dave. What's going on, everybody? We're back with some more 7 other Sins Grand Cross. I'm not going to be doing PvP specifically. Don't mind me. I was just doing a multi, just random multi I had. I had attempts to uh, get self discovery. I'm in too deep. I might as well 6 6 somebody now. So, we're going to be talking about whether or not you should be summoning for ominous nebula zelders so before we do that go ahead and smack that like button subscribe turn on notifications all that good stuff and let me know before you even hear my two cents whether or not you're summoning for soldiers but without further ado let's get into it let's go over his banner his skills all that stuff oh, i need to take off the freaking uh the timer thing for hawk huh so i was farming gold the other day yeah there we go there we go there we go let's go right to the summoning page so Ominous Nebula Zelgus, Prince of Darkness Zelgus, passive dark whirlpool for every applicable ally on the battlefield in PvP. Increase the applicable ally's attack related stats by 4% and decrease all enemies' attack by 6%. Specific ally is a demon or a hero with a commandment. So the troll, Glaxenia, you know, they, they gotta squeeze them in there. So, um,. This is relevant because Estherota just came out two weeks ago, which is he's basically the leader of the demon team now. I, I saw Mo did it. I saw Meliodas did it first, but you know he 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 came in and he just like kind of took over. Um, let's go over Zelda's uh, cards. Inflict pulverize damage you with a 450 percent of attack on one enemy. When the hero has four or more ultimate move gauge, reduce the ultimate move gauge by one percent. Pulverize also is kind of like a pseudo detonate. However much gauge you oh, it's kind of like a reverse detonate technically because it's never how much gauge you have you hit hard so that's polar is like a really good unit i know festival diane has it i feel like somebody else has it who i'm forgetting best gother has it it's kind of wasted on him but it is what it is <laughs> his second card chaos blaze inflict damage equal to 280 percent of attack on all enemies and infects infect is pretty big even on level one because you know you can prevent people from healing such as tarmio link and then life stealing too with like strong aoe cards if they have probably have uh i don't know if they run like another demon team you can infect them uh so you're there assault mode meliotis mode uh, assault mode meliotis won't do as like won't heal as much on his AOE because you know they will do AOE attacks with the full demon team. And then his ultimate inflicts weak point damage equal to 210% of attack on all enemies. Weak point is three times damage dealt uh, if the enemy is debuffed. Doesn't matter how many debuffs they have, as long as it's one on the field, it just applies. So that is his skills. Um, we can take a look at him in game. We can take a look at his cosmetics, all that stuff. And his stats too, he is right here. Here are his stats. I have him on HP defense, 64.8, basically 60. Huh? This is 64.8. I have him 4.6, but it really doesn't affect his like substats. Here are substats, 72%. I am in the way, aren't I? Oh no, I'm not. I'm not. Okay, I'm on way over here. Wait, wait. I gotta get into the setup. 72% tears, 53% resistance. Uh, crit chance, 93%. That's okay because he increases the tech related stats via his passive. Crit damage, 199, that's all right. Uh, and then any notable ones, oh my god. Any other notable stats. His, his crit defense and crit resist is kind of, I guess, sure. I mean, if they were both like high 90%, then I feel like he'd probably be a little bit better. Get a little bit extra, get a little plus. Uh, <laughs> life still is 20%, that's broken. And that's 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 fair because he has like two AOEs. He can heal very nicely. So uh, this is his gear, and then here are his outfits as well. Now I feel like his CC is pretty okay. You might hear a whole bunch of other people say like, "Oh, you know, his CC's bad. Uh, they know I'm not going after him. What are you crazy?" Nah, bro, his CC is all right. I I had a nightmare where his CC was going to be like 61k or something like that at six six, and I woke up and I. I pulled him, I got him 4-6, and I was like, you know what? I'm pleasantly surprised. Have no expectations, people, and then you're pleasantly surprised. That's how I live my life. If that's one thing I teach you people, <laughs> have no expectations, bro. That's it. That's it. That's, that's all there is to it. So, uh, that's pretty much all of his information. We went over his passive. He doesn't have a commandment. That is noteworthy as well. So, I guess that is a plus. You don't got to really worry about dancing around or anything else. Um... 
He's basically Esterosa's support. Y'all know what Esterosa does, but just in case y'all don't. Uh, if an ally that is a demon or has a commandment uh, and inflicts damage on the enemy, applies darkness on the target. If the target has four more darkness, additionally applies encroachment, which is busted. Essentially, encroachment is like Traitor Meliolus' ult, technically. Because it, it like lowers stats. All stats, 40%. Bro, encroachment plus assault mode Meliodas' ult has to be devastating. I have to try it one of these days. I don't know why I haven't now, but I, I should definitely. I'll probably hop on Yamas' account and do it. Um, increase all allies' basic stats by 5% for every darkness and encroachment effect on an enemy up to 10 times. So that's why AoEs go crazy on the demon team. Covert action is a new skill that he got, which is however much darkness the person has, he, he does extra damage. At level one, it could do upwards towards the like five, 600K. And then he has Flood. I don't know why they love giving Flood to everybody. This could have been like Spike or something, and I feel like it would have been equally as good, but we move. And then his ultimate is just is ridiculous. Decrease all enemies attack, well, all stats by a certain percent, and inflict resonance damage equal to 380% of attack on all enemies. The resonance is 15% damage for every buff debuff and stance on a target <laughs> which is why you can see him do millions of damage because he's lowering stats if you're lucky you can have you can have encroachment on them and if they have a stance and or buff he's basically hitting triple is hard so uh that is pretty much it for the units that that over well he's not on the banner i'm just saying he's supportive of esterosa that's why i went over esterosa so uh esterosa banner is still out uh so let's go over zeldris's banner New Year's Meliodas, I guess if you don't have demon spawn units, I guess that is like a plus for you. Uh, the best one out of the three might be Jericho Heike, because I've seen Amazing beat, like, beat Deer. I think he beat Deer or even Bird with Jericho, so she's like viable. If you're like a Jericho simp, looking at you, Derpy, you can go crazy with that. The worst one out of these three is probably her, but she, just, she spawns red, so I guess she can... Red demon, so I guess she still has some... You, she's not technically useless. So, uh, Meliodas is Crimson, she's Red Demon, and then Jericho is Grey Demon. MK2 Valenti, solid pick. Oh, I don't like how they carried out her relic, but I still think she is a fine unit. Uh, Green Broom Hunter, fantastic for like farming deer. Yeah, you can farm deer with her, definitely a good uh, deer farming unit. Red Easton, we'll ignore that. Uh, Halloween Matrona was so sad when she first released, bro. She was a pivotal unit for the bird, and now it's just she's nothing because she was, she was Diane Brunhild, I think Trader Melly. I use QSAG, or you can use anybody. Well, Miguel, it's Miguel, 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 Diane Melly. Who's the other one? You can use Brunhilder. Yeah, you can if you want. I, I use QSEG, but there's it, so many teams you can run on Bird. It's ridiculous. Magoda, fantastic for Bird. Lilia, have a, have a super mega well unit. You gotta have her 6-6 six, six to even run her, but she's good for for uh, Guild Wars. Uh, Guild Wars. So that is a plus for her. Uh, this list, great for time farming uh, a Venn Dungeon in Fort Sogris. Okay, that's, that's pretty good. You know, she can help you actually farm that easier. Green Sario, fantastically, probably like the number two on this, well, number three on this banner. Top three, which is number three on this banner. The Yarmigan, fantastic for the deer. She's basically the bona fide unit for it. And then Red Tarmiel, the long-awaited return for Red Tarmiel. Him alone might be worth summoning, but you got to incorporate the whole picture of Zeldris. If you're a big Zeldris fanboy, if you love demons, can... Does your love for Tarmio overcome your hatred for Zeldas? That is the question, ladies and gentlemen. I think, I think, if you want to hear it from me, Davo, should I summon on Zeldas? Even though I don't run Demon Teams, I don't run Esterosa, but I want Tarmio. I will say, no, don't summon. Don't waste your time. Because chances are, you probably summoned for something recent, so something before Esterosa, let's say, uh, I don't know. Let's say you summon on Liz and you still like recovering gems from that, right? Because Liz wasn't too long ago, right? So you probably have like some some of like 200 gems. Should you summon after you got Liz? No. Even though Goddess Team is crazy, 
he's unfeatured. And plus, the other thing is, you aren't running Demon Team, so it's like no point in even investing your gems, in my opinion. But, you should summon, I think you should summon if you are just like head over heels for any Demon Team, any, iter any iteration of Demon Team, whether it be OG Festival uh, Zelders or this new Zelders. You can't go wrong with either, honestly. And I can show you why in PvP. Let's 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 go to well we can do one batch of PvP just so I can like show y'all that he's like adequate. I don't think he's terrible. You see a lot of people say like oh now this is terrible. I don't think that's the case. I think he's just he's he's good. Oh what? It's a PvP rule? I had no clue. <laughs> I had no clue, honestly. Uh, I think it's like something like if you deal damage, like, oh, no, 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 let's go back. I think it's something like if you deal damage, you like get your stats lower or something like that. It has something to do with old gauge, but let's let, let me let me hop in real quick. Zelda just ain't bad. He's a fantastic backline. If you have a full demon team, and I think you have him 6'6, six, six, you can. It's okay. I feel like you have you might have like what 2k less CC. The festival's elders. If you want to apply debuffs, that's 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 all you. I mean, if you want that option to, go ahead, go ahead and sub it. But if you just want, if you're somebody who doesn't give a f about demons and you just want Tarmiel just for like Link, I would say no. Skip and save up even more, bro. That that is my advice to you. So I don't know. I would pay attention to CC. So let's just do this. We gotta get rid of River Key. Bing, Bop, and we can flood you. King go crazy. I don't, I don't think King would go crazy. Oh, he is running Dodge, but still. We move. That means you get it. Yeah, we definitely gotta get rid of him. I feel like Zodus backline, it's more straightforward than Festival Zodus. That's all just is like, oh, I got a hope to get like three secret cards so my Sario link can go crazy and then I get full stacks of Zelda's passive. But with the blue Zelda's, it's more like it's more more straightforward. Oh, please don't have another one. I you should have came shield and then Yeah, get blockaded, fam. Yeah, so let's do this. Oh, dude might just die from 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 a soul melee because the soul melee is known for wrecking with that rupture. Are we not? I remember it used to be like bad. Now it's just like oh look, they died from freaking extort. But everybody else say a sayonara. Yeah, it's just like that. I feel like Blue Zodis is still. Fantastic. You can't go wrong with either Zeldris. If you want that option, I would say that is another plus for summoning for Zeldris. If you want, want to switch it up instead of applying debuffs, you're getting sick of Margaret's freaking cleansing all your debuffs. I would say go ahead and summon for this blue one. But you would have to be a demon lover. You want Tarmiel and or you need Sario too. That is three pluses. You should go ahead and let it fly if, if you meet all three of those criteria. But if you don't like Zeldris... Nah, bro. Just, just, just save your time. Tarmel will be back, bro. He may take another half a century, but trust, bro. You can wait for him again, and then you can possibly pull him with even more gems. And plus, when he reruns on another like uh, banner or something like that, the unit might be cracked. He might come back for like, let's say, um, what's it called, uh, Black Friday or something like that. A little bit after Thanksgiving. Who knows? Whatever festival they drops, Red Tarmel can be on that. And then that banner is like the best banner in the history of Grand Cross. You never know. So that is all, ladies and gentlemen. I am done talking y'all ear off. We saw Zeldra's banner, his kit, his gear, his cosmetics. We saw him in PvP, well, his, his uh, support ability in PvP. But let me know whether or not you are going to be summoning for the new Ominous, uh, 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 Ominous Nebula. Zeldra's, say it with me, folks. <laughs> so... Thank you for watching. If you enjoyed the video, smack that like button, subscribe, turn on notifications, all that good stuff. And I'll see you when I see you. I think the next video probably this will be uh, Twigo, I think, Final Boss? Yeah? If it'll load. Yeah, Final Boss. I, I did it. I just didn't cover a video because I, I wanted to wait for Global. But yeah, see y'all. See ya, see ya, see ya.